Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. I know that it's been a little while since I recorded or uploaded any videos, and I have to apologize for the uh, the issues with uploading videos last week. I had a pretty rough time trying to get things to happen, and it just didn't really work out. But what we want to do is we want to buy a Thunder Sphere for, um, for Kimari, and we're going to need it for the boss, actually, that we're going to. So if we can get that, that would be really, really nice, which I think we're probably not, actually. Well, actually, I think we probably will. Yeah, we totally can. So, yeah, we want to go ahead and buy the Thunder Sphere, and we only want this for this specific area, and I probably will take it off after that. Some of the enemies are weak to lightning here, so it's really, really critical that we have that item. So here we go. To uh, talk about things a little bit more on the banter side, I uh, started playing Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings, and it was a uh, an interesting experience to say in the least. I started playing the game yesterday, I think? Um, yes, it was yesterday, because today is Sunday, and I really, really, really enjoy it. It's, it's a pretty phenomenal game, honestly. It's a, definitely a little different. I played some of The Witcher 3 on the PlayStation 4, and I tried really hard to get into it, but I just couldn't. But considering The Witcher 3 is coming to the Nintendo Switch um, sometime later this year, and I'd like to play it on the, on the Nintendo Switch, I figure I should at least play The Witcher 2 and like try to understand what's going on, so... My main motivation for playing The Witcher 2 is just so I can play that game, and it's like really fun. I'm playing on easy mode, though, because I'm not super good at that particular combat style. However, it is still um, pretty challenging at times. It has the capability to be a pretty difficult game, as it turns out. More difficult than you would think, anyway. Um, what else have I even been playing lately? I've been playing a lot of Octopath Traveler and some Mario Maker 2. I've actually been playing a lot of Mario Maker 2, oddly enough. Um, I'm not that big of a fan of making levels, but playing other people's levels are, like, one of my favorite things to do. I don't even like platformers all that much, but there was something about Mario Maker 2 that just seemed really, really fun. And, I, like, I've gotten better at making levels, for sure. However, it's still definitely not, like, my forefront or my forte, and it's absolutely something I will not be doing a whole lot of moving forward. Um, and I am going to try to record some Mario Maker content at some point for this channel. I don't know when, though. It, it'll, it'll be a much different series, because you'll probably hear a lot of me screaming and being mad, because that game makes me mad, because <laughs> I'm not good at platformers. Also, I have to apologize if the microphone levels are a little bit weird today. My, uh, the Elgato streaming software I'm using says that they're really loud. I don't think I'm talking that loud. If it turns out that it's being kind of obnoxious, I'll just have to turn the game down on my microphone for next time. So, hopefully it won't be too much What's of an issue moving guys? forward. Um, in terms of what we're doing in the game right now, we're, uh, we're just kind of trying to get through the story more. We're Still not at the part where the, I would say the game starts to open up, but we're getting really close. Like, I know I've been saying that for the past several episodes, but we are actually getting pretty close to the point where it's like, okay, the game is starting to open up and we can finally have a little bit more control. And when we get our next playable character, that's going to make a huge difference. I think we get one more wave. Yeah, we do. Our dead were expecting us. And so, th th this fight's not hard at all, it's, it's basically just attacking, and that's all it is. And using Thunder, I'm gonna try to use Thunder on the other one and see if it'll one-hit KO it, which it did. <clears throat> and just like that, we have made it through. So today is the, uh, the 7th of August, which is pretty exciting. I can't really believe, or not August, what am I talking about? It's the 7th of July, and it's kind of a wild, wild 
um, summer for me. Because I'm doing a, a whole lot of work, and it's been keeping me busy, to say the least. Because, you know, I'm working at an engineering firm part-time. Well, actually full-time for the summer, but I'm not getting any kind of benefits or PTO or anything like that. Because I'm just an intern, but... It's been a fun opportunity for me. It's it's definitely taught me a lot about how to at least work in the workplace. Still in there. He won't last. Which is definitely a Walk valuable skill. Like Ouch. Let's go. So anyway, we'll go ahead and drop a quick save here. Dude, I'm so stuffed up. What is up with my nose? Yes, we will overwrite the save data. I uh, I also just ate a big ass smoothie in the other half of a burger that I had left over from the other night. So I uh, I got a new blender today as well. My my uh, my girlfriend's sister is pregnant, and she was having a party today to like celebrate the pregnancy. And so me, my girlfriend, her mom, and her husband um, were all at. Uh, my girlfriend's sister's apartment hanging out and she had two blenders and I'm like why do you have two blenders and she was like oh well I got the same blender from two different people so we have a spare blender do you want it and I'm like absolutely if it works I'll gladly take it and so I got this ninja blender that's huge by the way it's a, it's a big blender and it's awesome hey we can use this crane so I'm sure something looks a little bit familiar about this ship huh pretty cool. Now, if we try to use the crane, it's not going to work. Come on, move! It's probably out of power. So we're going to actually gimp the system. So we bought the lightning, um, the lightning weapon. If we use thunder on the crane, we can heal it. But we have this lightning weapon from Kamari, which means I think will be able to attack the weapon, I believe. Now, we're not going to use the crane. We don't care about it. We won't use the crane until it starts, like, showing signs that it's actually working. So let's see. I guess we cannot attack the crane, but we still do a lot of damage to this guy with the lightning weapon. Well, my idea didn't work. <laughs> it's actually still really nice to have that lightning weapon, though, just, just for this boss fight. Crane seems to respond. But we're still not going to use it just yet. Well, that kind of sucks. Um, let's do... Uh, go away. My Echo Dot just tried to respond to me. Um, let's use... Wow, I don't have... I don't want to use a Remedy on that. Mm, screw that, I'll just attack him. I think one more thunder on him should do the trick. That's what it looks like. So this boss is going to become kind of stupid easy as a result, by the way. Like, in insanely easy. We don't have anybody with sensor, but this boss becomes... It, it loses almost all of its HP. Like, it's kind of crazy how much damage this does to it. Look at that. A lot of damage. And if we attack it, we're just going to keep on doing a lot more. I, again, I don't have sensors, so I don't know... Oh, well, never mind. We killed it. <laughs> I was going to say I wonder how much longer we have left, but never mind. Took the words right out of my mouth. And uh, just moving forward now, we've got a little bit of levels. I'm, I'm not going to bother trying to do any kind of spear raid work right now, just because it's not that important. I hope you hurt them. A little.
What is it? There were these all bad that saved my life when I first came to Spira. They took me on their ship. They even gave me food. I was kind of hoping that this was the same ship. But it's not. I wonder if they're all gone. What happened? Sin came up near us. I made it out okay, but I don't know what happened to their ship. Um, was there anyone called Sid on that ship? I don't know. They were all speaking that Al Bed language. I see. So who's Sid? He's my uncle, but I've never actually met him. Mm-hmm. Wait. So that means you're Albed too, Yuna? On my mother's side, yes. Sid is my mother's brother. He became distant after my mother married. But she told me to seek him out if I ever needed help. You're worried he was... Don't tell Waka about Yuna's lineage. The thing about Waka, he never had much love for the Albed. Whoa! I, I gotta tell Waka. I thought I told you not to tell Waka. <gasps> the game! Oh. This is super weird, by the way. We never know what kind of spell Lulu casts there, or, or even, as a matter of fact, what kind of magic she may have been using otherwise. We never learned that spell in the Sphere left. Grid or, or anything, or, or what that was. So it's kind of un unknown still what happened and how they got back. Obviously some kind of magic that we just can't use. And uh, I actually don't know what's about to happen next. I don't, I don't know if the guide goes into great detail on that. Let's see. Yeah, there's not really much else I have to do. So <clears throat> now we're just continuing on this way and we get to play the Blitzball game, which is pretty cool it's it's a very fun game i'm gonna save that for the next episode because it's kind of a time consuming process so i will uh, i'll go ahead and cut it off here but i thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next time on let's play final fantasy 10 see you guys next time